Evaluating early corn stand establishments is a critical part in growing high yielding corn for many reasons. Yet 20% of growers when surveyed have never taken a stand count or even heard of a stand count. Drones may seem like the easy fix to this, but just how accurate and helpful is this technology? Today I will be investigating the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, such as drones, for corn stand counts. Before even questioning whether or not drones are a valid technology for corn stand counts, it's important to understand why stand counts should be a regular practice for any field. Research has shown time and time again that, for a corn crop in particular, plant stand is one of the most important yield components. For growers, this number helps evaluate the effectivity of their planter, determine if replants should be made, and gauge other management decisions that they may have to make throughout the growing season. For companies, this number is key to breeding programs and evaluating new hybrids. Taking counts annually will be able to provide a collection of meaningful data for all these forms of field management that will inevitably help in maximizing corn yields. Drones are a form of aircraft that is powered by remote control, hence the term unmanned aerial vehicle. Drones have become increasingly popular in recent years with marketing claiming that they provide higher accuracy, faster results, and higher resolution imagery. The key argument for drones used for stand counts is the claim that they have higher accuracy than other forms, such as ground stand counts. Marketing claims are a great starting point to investigating the viability of a technology such as drones for corn stand counts, yet they often lack the actual data to back up the claims made. An example of this is Precision Hawk's claim that the technology can achieve at least 92% accuracy. This is an awesome value, if proven true, yet their article shows no data sets or calculations to back the statement. After further investigation through peer-reviewed articles, it has been proven that drones are capable of taking highly accurate corn stand counts. Studies done with multiple drone counts versus human ground counts has shown that there is 5% or less difference between the two techniques. In a field planted at 34,000, this would be the difference in approximately one to two plants per one one thousandth of an acre. Other research has proven, with numerous flights and counts performed, that the accuracy percentage of UAV counts is 0.96. This value is even higher than the stated 92% by Precision Hawks marketing team. Some actual results from Corteva agronomist Chris Olback in Eastern Ontario show just how accurate the counts can get. This field was planted at various populations. The areas planted at 36,000 seed drop have an estimated plant stand of 35,500, and with 32,000 seed drop, a plant stand of 32,200. This proves that drones are just as accurate as humans, but are they truly more accurate? Overall field stand count accuracy is in fact improved with drones since they are able to be locationally impartial. Drones can take multiple photos across the whole field, whereas humans tend to be biased towards taking counts in areas that look promising. This provides a more accurate idea of a field's overall plant stand. Like Dave Harwood from Corteva AgriScience says, a tenth of an acre sampled more frequently and across a wider area provides more accuracy and efficiency that's far less subject to error. The drone imagery shown here from Chris Olback shows the locational differences in stand establishment identified by a drone within a field. The left side has a poor stand with lots of gaps, indicated by the yellow blocks, whereas the right side has a strong even stand. A human may not choose to take stand counts in an area looking like the left. However, drones are not quite as smart as humans yet. Weeds present the same spectral reflectance that corn does, meaning drones are not always able to accurately distinguish the crop they are meant to count from the weeds. For any growers who struggle with weed management, drones may not be a viable option for their early season stand counts. Another source of error in drone count accuracy stems from the corn crop stage. If green pixel segmentation cannot be made due to overlapping leaves, the drone is no longer able to accurately detect individual plants. Research done has shown that the optimal corn stage for drones to be able to take counts is around the V2 to V3 stage. Too far ahead of this stage or too far after may not provide as accurate of results. 
Although walking fields by foot and performing ground counts may eliminate some of these accuracy errors, drones are significantly faster than humans. Not much research goes into how fast the drones can produce the imagery, since research looks more towards the quality of imagery. But lots of marketing teams have put out values for how fast they are able to collect data. Corteva AgriScience, for example, states that their flights program with Drone Deploy can fly a 160-acre field in less than 15 minutes to provide a grower with field variation imagery. For a proper full field stand establishment evaluation, it may take longer than that. Laura Thompson, an extension educator at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, says that in her practice with drones, they can perform a full 40-acre field scout in just 30 minutes. Drone imagery also provides real-time results, no long waits for computation to occur. Imagery and data can be seen almost simultaneously as the drone flies, or is at least downloadable immediately after the flight has taken place. Drones are also able to fly at much lower altitudes than other forms of technology used for field imagery, such as satellites or airplanes. Drones are able to fly around 10 to 20 meters above ground to produce high resolution images used for stand counts. To be able to detect individual plants, the ideal imagery resolution is less than one inch per pixel. At 10 meters above ground, drones are able to reach a spatial resolution of 2.4 millimeters. A technology that is able to reach this resolution is critical in identifying individual plants, which is the basis for stand counts. No other technology can truly compare to drones in this way. The image shown here is from Laura Thompson in Crop Watch of UNL. The far left image shows drone imagery at a resolution less than one inch per pixel. This is the ideal resolution for stand counts. From there, she shows how this imagery can be zoomed in to show further specifics within rows and even of individual plants. This kind of high resolution imagery comes at a cost though. Just like how satellite imagery costs have come down over the years, drone costs have started to come down, but they have a way to go before becoming an obvious purchase for any farm. One of the more popular drones, the DJI Phantom 3, cost around $1,000 in 2015. However, this would require the purchaser to know how to operate it and manipulate the data for their purposes. Having someone, such as a private egg company, provide the imagery and data for you is a better option for some people. Yet in 2015, this costs around $3 to $5 an acre and has potentially gone up with the popularity of drone imagery. For comparison, in 2015, satellite imagery of 50 centimeter resolution costs around $25 US dollars per kilometer squared. This equates to roughly 10 cents per acre. Drones can reach a resolution of 2.4 millimeters. That's approximately 200 times that of satellites and costs only $3 to $5 an acre. If you took the cost of satellite imagery at that resolution, you would be $20 an acre. This goes to show once again that no other imagery technology can really compare to that of drones, especially if you're able to purchase your own drone and process the imagery yourself. With all of this information though, it should be said that using drones for stand counts has been a relatively new concept. With some time devoted to furthering the artificial intelligence and processing ability of drones, a lot of their accuracy errors could be diminished. Much like how humans can learn a lot in one growing season, drones stand to improve a lot over time. Imagine what could happen if more growers and companies began using drones for stand counts and all worked together to improve their algorithms. The usefulness and viability of drones for stand counts does not just stop at its increased accuracy, speed, and imagery resolution though. The stand establishment trends seen in fields can be overlaid with other field data such as yield maps, CEC maps, topography maps, and more to better understand and better manage the field at hand. The cost for what the technology provides is well worth it. Drone stand counts and corns are just the start. The sky really is the limit with this technology.